morning. Dog line, 24 hours today. Just about to set off there. Uh, can't wait. Been in Spain for a week, so I'm gloriously tanned. And just can't wait to get back out of the bank. Quick 24, got work straight for me in the morning. Well excited. Morning, we're at dog line. Peg five today. About to set up, I've just pushed the bar around. Got the tripod out. Let's get the bivy set up and get the rods in. I can see some movement in the water. So hopefully, everyone said they ain't caught. Not the last couple of days out of here, but got to keep the faith. Let's get some fish. <laughs>
pull set up, rods are in. I brought the spud rod marker lead and I borrowed a marker float off Rick. <clears throat> and gonna have a feel about it because the part of the bowl where some of the fish come from, where they feed. So I'm gonna have a feel about it and try and marker float it. But like I said, I've ordered deeper, so hopefully that'll be here soon. And then we'll be able to see why. The marker float, effective technique, fantastic. Watch videos on it, Rick, just give me, just give me a little lesson. Yeah, but I think the deepest is going to be 10 times easier, isn't it? But I had to at least do it the old school way before I moved on to the technology way. You know what I mean? So, yeah, quit the caffeine, so just a cup of green tea. I know it's got a little bit of caffeine in, but it's no energy. I just coffee or other energy drinks. I was wolfing down, so I brought a flask of that. So, yeah, just going to have a quick drink. And then crack on the marker. Video about it before, but for some reason the camera didn't work, so we'll go again. First thing we do, I found the bowl already, about nine and a half foot deep. This is what I've learned. Cast and then get the line nice and tight, then pull it off the bottom. I can feel that that is silk because there's absolutely zero resistance not one iota of resistance at all and just feel it bouncing up drop the lead on the floor it just sinks into the silk so we keep the line nice and tight like that Measure the depth and release a foot at a time. We'll measure this is the foot. Three, four, five. So there is about five and a bit foot deep. We go cast it out a bit. So we'll go to. It's a lead there like so. Let the clutch off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there is about eight feet deep. Look. even showed from there to there there's a foot of depth difference but the benefit of the deeper is that when you drag it along you then got to keep recasting and re-dragging it just updates as you go along and you can attach it to the boat so in places where you can use a boat Makes it much, much, much easier. Because you can just attach it to the boat and put your bait right on the spot and your hook link. And you find the spot, so yeah. Learn that. Old school way. Fantastic. A little bit time consuming, but fantastic. Technology alleviated the problem, really. And for £200, can't really grumble.
on the off chance the end already entered I'm doing a bike giveaway uh, just go to www.tommycarpin.com all the details are there on how to enter it just go on the menu and just click on bike giveaway uh, yeah it's two kilo boilies tub of pop-ups tub of wafters and a bottle of glug I'm gonna once I've got enough entrance I'll announce the door draw day so yeah Take a little freebie. Have a go. Go and have a go. Ten past four now. Then we're getting darker in our so I've moved this right hand rod from by the tree. I've gone right underneath, right in the margin, proper tight and put about three quarters of a kilo of bait on it. Boilies and then some pellets with some pretzel glug. So hopefully. Does a trick, saved me last time from a blank when I was here. But, don't know, dear. Apparently, no one's had nothing out all weekend. We even knocked on for a 24, so. But wind's coming in our direction as well, which is good. So, we'll see. 20 past six now. About sunset time. Water started, started seeing a bit more signs of fish on the top, I don't know if it's small ones or fry or what, but it's looking a bit more active. So hopefully we have one. Seem to be getting mostly night time fish and dawn fish lately. And the last one I had here was at like five o'clock in the morning. So hopefully I stuck it in the margin on this peg. And then the other one's in that bowl. So, we'll see what happens. Never say never. Yeah, another blank, it's another blank. Didn't make a very exciting viewing, but at least I learned about that marker floating and I'll condense the video, and make it a bit shorter. Yeah, hopefully. Next vid, it's a full weekend, so hopefully we'll have some of them. And then it's fishing it. That's three in a row blanks. Yeah, so the rig test, obviously nil nil. Zero spinner, zero blowback. We'll see next week how different we catch one and what it's not. But yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry about the other blank, but happens, can't control it. Uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Thanks.